Morphling. That's gonna lean more easily into Batrider, but still I would say... Take a little bit of time, right? Like, on, a, on this Pudge, it, he's gonna need to get some items before he can be fully effective. And then when you have something like a Morphling, this isn't what we typically see Topson playing recently, right? It is a little bit more farm intensive. He's not gonna be as active, supposedly. Bottom oh. lane, Ana ticking down quite a bit. This is not looking great here. They do have the snowball. They're going to try to go for the save, turn their attention over onto Solo, but it's still going to be Solo who gets the first blood. Later on, I am surprised that they matched him up against the Naga because it is a counter later on, but right now, not so much. Oh gosh, all right, there's a, a kill in the top lane as they're still sitting very low. Sweden Strong trying to finish off Zephyr, giving the clicks, throwing out those cogs. It's doing a lot of damage. They need just a little bit more. Oh, the creeps get him. Not he died. The range creeps were still on him. Oh my god. Yeah, Lace is going to be alone for a little while and Zephyr intends to do as much as he can to do damage and might actually be able to kill him here, chasing after. Mm, not sure. Maybe one more. Yeah, it's looking very close. Yeah, that he's poison ticking. sting. He's ticking. So there it is. Meanwhile, bottom lane, look at this. Vtune going in under tower to just run at Ana. He's pretty much dying already. Yeah, Ana can't do much of anything against this right now. Like, he's trying, but they're just really abusing the fact that he's just not... Uh... Ana? You have flesh eats. A lot of extra damage there. For getting his cooldown a bit, I guess. I guess. Dyer are scanning. Dyer's courier. Did force the TP out of Topson as, uh, alright. Have a mango, but still, just, again, it's a brawl back and forth. Yeah, they're trading. I think right now they need to pull uh -oh, T1, need to. Snowball over onto Solo. Looks like maybe they can get the final hit. They can they get the kill? Yes, they will. But now V2 chasing after Ana. Like Ana's going to survive, he gets the solve placed on him. They're gonna just cancel it out, so that's a... Uh, like trying to figure out where the next kill's gonna happen. <laughs> so it feels like once they start amping up, everybody just starts murdering each other. Top lane, probably. It feels like they're well, gonna go Topson there with being here. Topson. They cancel out the TP, and they should be able to get the kill on Sweden Strong. No problem. Bottom lane, though, we are seeing the Batrider teleport in. He's got the lasso. Their eyes are set over here on Ana. The snowball, though, coming to play, is going to connect over onto Noah. They need to get out of there fast, and I don't think that was necessarily the play. They cancel out the TP. They'll get Ana. They should be able to get White Mon as well. A good rotation coming out from Noah. Sitting behind the trees, counting. He's like, you know, one Mississippi. To, he's just waiting, and there goes the glimpse, but he was patient enough to wait. The glimpse didn't stop him. That's a good call. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Middle lane. See that Topson and Zephyr trying to close the gap over on Sweden Strong. Should be able to go and land the Gale. Give a couple clicks. You can see that the Nog is making her way over. He should be dead here. The Morphling can just come in and swoop in for the kill. Yeah, now with White Mon here, this is actually potentially very scary for V Tune. Shards will connect. And he didn't opt to go for that Song of the Siren pickup. So he is most likely just absolutely dead. And despite no one in Solo making their way over, they're just not going to be able to get there in time to save her. Oh, the bane of all us mid and carry players, the greed, not skilling Song of Siren. We don't need it. There, there's no reason to have it. But yeah, he got a song and TP would out if he had it. But of course, you want to get high level in Riptide and Mirror Image. Uh, Cuckoo is... just getting very aggressive. Is going to get cogged up by Sweden Strong. We'll throw out a little bit of that nuke there. He's got a couple of these stick charges. Goes for another decay. Sitting pretty big. This is a big boy. Cuckoo this is dying. But there's the so world. many people. Yeah, there are four heroes from the side of Nami. He really wants to kill on Sweden Strong, but he's not going to be able to find it. And he does not have enough mana to... Oh, well, there's a little bit more. So he'll buy himself alive. a little bit more decay. He's got 28 stacks of decay. Going to get thrown back into the corner with V2. No. Invading the buy angle. Yeah. It's also a lot of uh, time that Ana gets to recover a little bit. He didn't have the best start down there on his punch, but now, you know, Cuckoo going man mode, just forcing everyone to come to top lane, uh, gives a little bit of time for Pudge to find farm ball. I think they can make some informed decision where they want to play now. If I was them, I would probably try and make moves towards bottom and try and open up the map a little bit more by removing that tier one. Trying to put the pressure on here in the top lane as they are smoked up. Yeah, they're wrapping top instead with a 
with the smoke gank. Lace feels it though. Nice. Lace indeed feels it. They're off the shards, trying to get the vision. They do have those wards, so they should be able to find them quite easily with the follow up and the tombstone. So there is not going to be any uh, visage here, so they'll put his forced out here using that piggy pole. Radiance it's like no one was considering making a jump on him. Didn't opt to use the lasso as the top tower falls. Alright, there we go. A little bit of a hook over onto now one. They'll turn the tables on this bat rider. He went in for the gank and got ganked himself. So it looks like Sweden Strong, his life has been placed out nice and tidily in his quick buy. Is gonna be going to next item Aghanim Scepter. He's gonna go drop the tombstone, follow up with a nice snowball from White Mon. They're just gonna obliterate this poor disruptor. Yeah, no way to first. They're going in. They're fighting again to continue having this deep vision and uh, and play under that area. Meanwhile, though, Thompson is trying to set up something top. He says, I'm in this TPN. Maybe we can kill something. They want to get Visage. Well, they're going to have to respond here because they drag back over onto Zephyr. And Zephyr does not have his ultimate, but they should be able to punish no one. They roll forward with that snowball. There's the click. White Mon will finish him off, and Lace now just running for his life. Although v is here, they have the net. And go put the nuke damage down over onto White Mon. There it is, a nice hook shot coming out from Sweden Strong. Into the silence, beautifully done by the Disruptor. That is a killing spree that has... Players, can they yeah. catch Zephyr? Not really, they almost had the end snare there. The glimpse back wasn't quite far enough. Bottom lane, no one. He's got a lasso and Firefly if he wants to use it. The clockwork also coming down, but they realize something is up, so they're going to immediately go in with the dismember. Good cancellation, though, coming out from Sweden Strong, so Anna just not looking like he's going to survive this at all. Waveform forward, they will make him pay for it, but no one should be able to make it out, no problem. We do have the Agnum Scepter completed for Anna now. It's go time. Yeah, he's moving to join his team, ready to take a fight. But the smoke from Navi, though. Sitting on the low ground. Sweden Strong going to be the first one who gets spotted. Go drop that poison Nova. There's going to be the glimpse back over onto Zephyr. Sweden Strong still alive over here in the corner. They'll end up losing the Venomancer. And still somehow Sweden Strong stays alive for a good amount of time. Anna silenced up, but doesn't seem to care too much as now they're going to chase after this Wraith pack. They decide to back off, though. You've got, you know, v who's playing this Naga is going to be the main source of they're that smoking over. damage. Coming in. They have the song. They can song to stop the Roche. It's very ambitious. There it is. There's the song coming into play. Anna and Thompson still in the pit. No one staying nearby. Waiting, dropping a nice text. But they have the BKB over onto Thompson. Onto the back lines of Sweden Strong. Making just this fantastic cook shot over into the side. Celebrating just two people off and then. They'll be able to get the kill over onto V2. The turn around over onto no one. He is dead. White Mon chasing after Lace now. Just catching him in those shards. It's beautiful. It's a triple kill. And this is going to result in the Roche for the side of T1. More value out of the supports. I understand that this is like so incredibly important. <laughs> Zephyr just dropping the wards so that way they have the vision. He's like, all right, go see back. I've already done my job. Go get him, boys. And they just pop him right on out. I feel like Vtune has to know this, right? Vtune has to be aware that, all right, they all just backed off suddenly. Oh, I've yeah, shown yeah. in the bottom lane. Oh, but, but he can doesn't they lock understand him down for long enough is the question, though. All right, there's the stun into the shards. Goes, they follow up with the Song of the Siren, but you've got this BKB over on Ana, and he's just going to chase after him here. No problem. Doesn't even need the dismember. Good lord. No one in the top lane getting bullied by Topson, who has also turned himself in. But I'm not sure that you're going to get that opportunity. And I, I just, I'm worried here for the side of Navi. Yeah, the problem for Navi is that we haven't been able to feel oh, big impact. No oh, TP down bottom. Oh, no. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't think that was intended. Little no one, though. The hook. BKB is down. Just chasing after White Mon. Do you see Cuckoo? And there's so much damage coming out from all of these little rocket flares. But there it is. They find the opening. They get the dismember off over onto no one. He's going to have his... Nah, no. He's not going to make it out in time to use that TP scroll. No way. He's punished here by this play. Naga is looking for it. She's eyeing it. Dive forward here, coming from Ana and Thompson. Okay, there it is. 
But again, this Pudge doesn't care so much. This Thompson is probably going to care a little bit more, but they do manage to split the fight up with Whitemont over on the back line, so he's not going to have the Snowball to go in and get the save, but they can't do enough because he does manage to get over there in time with the Snowball, saving up that Thompson here. And they go and drive back over onto Lace. The buyback coming out from D2. They don't want to get knocked down as they'll end up losing Whitemont. Seeding strong, running away, Thompson waveforming, chasing after him. Should be able to clean him up with one, two, couple hits. And now another buyback coming out from Lace. B2, though, left alone. He doesn't have any friends. He doesn't have the help that he needs because they're just giving him the clicks right down. They'll get the kill on the Naga. That is a dieback. Cuckoo just trying to run away because no one wants something for his troubles. We'll be able to find it. And now Thompson going to get glimpsed back. Immediately dropping the Manta. Gets nuked down a little bit. Another Lotus being placed on him. Still has that Aegis. It's him and Zephyr really against the world. No one really wanting this. The waveform forward though, he's thinking about going back in. That is the Aegis. He's gonna come back. Zephyr. It's gonna be fine. And maybe... But they weren't able to finish him off. I was like, oh, they don't have the snowball. Like, this is their chance. But then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, White Mons, he's there. And he's just saving everybody. Like, it's insane. Thompson is in. Again, all right, here we go. They go, they grab Thompson. Waiting, there's the hook shot coming in from Sweet Strong. It's a lot of hatred, a lot of damage being placed over here. Away patiently again with those saves, the follow-up, the clicks over onto Sweet Strong. The BKB popped over onto Thompson, over onto Ana. They're just kind of stuck in the corner. The song does get used by V2, but Ana blinks forward. Is going to end up falling asleep because the BKB duration is done, but he gets the hook off over onto Lace. This is going to be a very dead visage. And T1. Just finishing off his top racks with Thompson. Let's get glimpsed back here. No one trying what he can, but it is very difficult because there's Ana jumping forward. Sees v and wants this kill. Gets the hook going on in with the walrus punch. They end up killing the Naga and That's the GG gets called. Yeah. T1 looking real dominant with a really kind of weird but very solid draft to take down Navi. Yeah, and they, they show. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any thoughts and ideas, please leave comments below. We are grateful for your support. Thank you.